Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What is your quest to find the Holy Grail? And what is the Holy Grail? For everybody, I suppose it's something different. And as a geek, you probably have your own idea of what a Holy Grail is. Are you someone who is addicted to hardware? Are you someone who's addicted to software? Is every piece of software that you find that you think is absolutely wonderful your Holy Grail? Well, to me, that's what it's all about. Finding really cool software. And in my recent travels throughout the land... Look at the bones! Huge, sharp, pointy teeth! <clears throat> okay, enough Monty Python references for one video. I found four, three, sir, three network tools that can help you if you happen to be using a Mac and you are on a network running into issues or looking to support that network. The first of which you're not going to believe is free. If you head over to deploystudio.com, deploystudio.com, you will find a piece of freeware that from a Mac will allow you to manage and deploy images across your network of Macs or PCs. Now this is something that you would usually expect to pay a lot of money for, but DeployStudio.com has got it for free. So check it out. That's the first network tool I want to pass along, especially if you're a network administrator or an IT professional, you are going to love looking at that one. The second one is related to DNS performance. We've mentioned DNS before. I've mentioned a free tool for any user of the internet, whether you're using a Mac or a PC, and that would be OpenDNS.com. Check that out. Not even freeware. There's nothing to install for OpenDNS. Watch the video. What I wanted to mention here for the Mac is a tool, a very simple tool, called DNS Performance Test. And what it will do is uh, inside this text file, there's a list of all these web domains and the tool will cache them and it will go out and measure the response time so you can get an idea of how well your DNS response time is you know well matching up to say uh, you know a, a neighbor across the street or a friend across the city I mean it doesn't matter I mean the idea is, is that you're looking to see if there's some issues with latency in DNS lookups and again if you're using a tool like OpenDNS you're actually going to find yourself not needing a tool like the DNS performance testing tool that can be found at swmirror.org and the third one I thought was quite interesting, uh, surprisingly so, Helios, uh, Helios.de, they have a tool called the Helios LAN test. And what this will do from a Mac is it will run a variety of tests uh, throughout your network. So it will test to see how fast transfers are actually going between one machine, or the machine that you're running it from, and another. And they do a variety of tests, uh, removing, writing, reading, locking, unlocking, reading directories, printing, uh, creating files, opening, closing things, uh, just a battery of tests that can really give you an idea of how well your network's performing. You would use a tool like this if you were running into issues potentially, or if you were trying to make some kind of network tweak and you weren't sure if it, the network tweak took, run these tests before, run these tests after, were the results better or worse. So it's a good idea to try, at least if you're trying to benchmark or troubleshoot through any kind of issues that may be cropping up on your network. So those are four, three, sir, three tools. I almost messed that up. Came this close. Three tools that you may be able to use um, for your Mac, and I, I, I could have probably gone on and on and on and on and on, but I'm now going to turn it over to you. Do you have uh, a tool uh, that's available for Mac OS X or potentially for Windows or Linux that is indispensable when it comes to you managing or optimizing your network. Let me know what you think. My email address is chris at perillo.com and uh, you can usually find me streaming live out over the internet. Uh, this live video feed, uh, if you're you know happening to catch this you know when it's been posted to YouTube or my blog, I think there's close to about 500 people right now who are watching me. It's kind of spooky if you think about it. Just think about it. Close your eyes and imagine 500 people staring at you in your room. It's spooky. But if you'd like to join us, we'd love to have you. We're typically talking tech, software, hardware, Monty Python jokes at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.